our viewers, welcome back. This is the Ugandan TV Switzerland and it's broadcast by Tell Africans. I promise you, Chief Host, with my friend Emmanuel, Tell Africans. Yeah, so welcome to today's edition. Today we're going to talk about something that's almost all over, everywhere in the world and in Uganda in particular. Uh, it's about uh, the term limit, sorry, the age limit for presidency. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, you had some things. Yeah, we had some news uh, about yeah. about Uganda and that the, the the president is trying to review the constitution or the, yeah, yeah. they made some changes. Yeah, this is about good. the age limit for for, for presidency. presidency. Yes. So what's what's the real deal right now? Uh, right now, uh, there were very many people arrested today because they are trying to protest it. Okay. First of all, the constitution says um, someone who's above. 75 yeah. is not eligible to be president anymore mm -hmm. according to the constitution okay and uh, according to what happened last year during the elections before the elections actually the constitution was saying at first uh someone has to stand uh, only for two terms okay for presidency. and the term is how many years five years five years yes. that means two terms will be 10 years yeah 10 years yeah, and not. this president now what's his name again he's Mr. been there for for how many 32 years now he's been there yeah most of any yeah and he had promised uh after the before the before the five years before back before, he had okay. promised mm -hmm. after that he will retire he will not come back again and before he came back last year he uh, he actually amended the constitution again removing term limits okay. from the presidency uh -huh. and actually uh, the news says he paid MPs to allow him to change this okay. so like he, he used money to to influence yes, the, the, the yes, change the okay. money that people think could have gone into uh, uh, other things in the country because there's so many things that are no, but then I think it's old to be a president, it's too old. Above uh, even 60 years, he's a little bit old, he's 73 and now. 73 is too and old to be a now. President. What's actually worrying people is because, uh, uh in 2022, yeah, during, no, 2021, okay, during the next election, in four years, yeah. he will be 77 years. And this leaves him out of the box. He cannot come back again. So now he's trying to see yeah. what he can do again to, yeah, to the constitution. And this is yeah. this is not good. It's like in Nigeria, the president is about seventy-two years too. And also, he <laughs> have any signs of retiring? From oh the no, I don't think for now. No, I think he's making plans for two thousand nineteen election. Yeah. So <laughs> Africa. What What do you think as a, an African? As an African, I think that this the age limit should be something that should be well stipulated mm. for African countries because uh, the old people really cannot perform. We've seen them fail several times, you know, mm. cannot operate their own phones, mm -hmm. telephones. Mm. So these guys are not, uh, they are not, they are more, they are less than being modern. Mm. You know, these guys are not anyway modern. Mm. So these guys should give way for young people yeah. to, to come on board. Look at France, the president is 39 oh, yeah. years. Yeah. You know, look at Switzerland, look at Austria, look at Germany, look at all these European countries that we that we are running to. Mm. The, the all their leaders are young people. You know, that people, means young people have uh, mm, young minds. Yes, young ideas. people who know what is going on right now with the people, with the mm. people they want to lead. You mm. cannot be leading the people using the brain of 1945. Mm. That's for sure. Yeah, you are. You, That's when for sure. you were a young guy, mm. that was maybe 50 years ago and you faced some stuff these are not the same problems the people are facing now yeah you said something it's exactly how i uh, remember the recent elected mp uh, bobby wine the same thing he said if uh, the, the problems that uganda had 30 years ago and not the same problems. no they are not the now. same yeah i think there you have a common point and uh, there are uh, some people being arrested today okay among them is one of the uh, um, political party leader mm -hmm. in Uganda. Okay. Yeah, DP. Uh, well, well, what party. do you mean? Uh, are the common people protesting mm. yes. or the political parties? Both. 
Okay. Both are protesting, okay. and the police has been so brutal. You can see through the internet. On the internet, the yes. Pictures are there. Yeah, yeah. They're being really harassed. And what's so funny is the president to come out. Uh, he came out yesterday, I think, or two days ago, and denied everything. He said, um, "Who's debating about the age limit? It's not." Anywhere who's talking about it, people are wasting time. I'm busy doing my job, my work. I, I don't know. This is what he said. Yes, because there was. This a, is politics. This is politics. But then yeah. I think he should also look at himself and see that he's uh, not young anymore. Yep. We well, cannot. He we cannot. He can still play a big. We role. cannot say we want Africa to develop and then the old people are holding on to the development, mm. killing mm. talents. Yeah. And it's the same also uh, in the diaspora, it's the same. Yeah. In the diaspora, you yeah. see I all the leaders are old people. Yeah, because uh, I was watching an interview that one of his ministers did, and he was asked what he thinks. Does he think the president is still, uh, does he still have anything to contribute to the Ugandan community? And the minister said, if the people still want the president to rule, he will rule. And then that raised a question in my head, like Obama, did you see when he retired? Mm -hmm. Like everybody was almost crying. Mm -hmm. He was a loved man, like everybody, which even now people tell him, you can still come back, we miss you, we love you. Like every president who has done something good, people will always want him to true, stay. True. But if you want a country to go ahead a little bit higher than how it is, you have to give up, up power, right? Yeah. You have so, to give the power to people who can use it. Yeah, to especially young people. Yeah, you I cannot, they you have cannot a lot be. Of potential. Yeah, you cannot be and leading, leading a, a country for maybe twenty years. Mm -hmm. Then you are exhausted. Oh, he's thirty-two. Thirty-two years. Then this is too much. Yeah. Even your 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 first son or, or daughter will be I don't know how many years. Yeah, all married. And you are still the president. Yeah. So when will somebody else be the president? Mm. The Ugandan people, what do you have to tell them? I think the Ugandan people, are, the way it is now, mm. they shouldn't take laws into their hands. I think they can do better things by protesting. Mm -hmm. not, but um, already they have been arrested for protesting. Yeah, they have to. I, 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 think, I, I think that for Africa, mm. sorry to say, but for Africa, I think we need more sacrifice. Mm. Yeah. We need to sacrifice more. Mm. I don't want to tell you that you should go and demonstrate through mm. the streets. But it's but called sacrifice. I think that All we need to that, sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. We cannot, like what we are doing now, we are sacrificing our time. Yeah. We are taking our time. And also, because it's uh, now, it's almost a crime to talk about these leaders. Yeah, like but, yeah, but we are taking our it. time and we are taking risk to yeah. talk about this. So people out there that things are affecting, like we are in Switzerland, yeah. we have light, we have water. I can call the police now and they will come. Yeah. <laughs> I can call the ambulance, they will come. Yeah. Yes, but if these problems are affecting you and your family directly, and you're sitting we down must sacrifice. Fire. It doesn't work, it will never change. You yeah. sit back and relax. If you are 45 years old today, mm. for example, you are a Nigerian, since you have been born, there have been no light. Mm. Even your father, when he was young, he had no light. Now you have kids, two, three kids, as a Nigerian man, and those kids now are experiencing the same thing your father experienced. Mm. And you are saying you are a guy, you are civilized. And you know that some people are holding onto the power, the light that you need, mm. and you are sitting at home complaining. Mm. If we continue like this, sorry, yeah. Sorry. It's so unfortunate the yeah. way the police handles cases after issues. The way it's not about the police. It's about the government. It's about the leaders. Mm. I think the police they are doing their job. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I tell you, the police. A, the, a policeman but cannot. A human being. Yes, I know. They cannot. They cannot go and be fighting or shooting at citizens if the leader mm -hmm. doesn't say so. A policeman is a citizen. Yeah. He is a citizen. He is supposed to protect because that is they his job. They follow orders. Listen, the police, the, there are orders in military, if you want in change, police. If you want change, it starts with you. But there are orders. You cannot diso disobey the order that was given to you by your boss. 
the policemen are going to the street to arrest and beat anybody that is protesting because the government is against it. Pathetic. Finish. Yeah, but you have to know you're a human being. You're yes, but you cannot go with you cannot go with your ammunition to the street where people are gathered and put your hands in your pocket. You no, know, you can simply one day let me tell you, one day there was a, a lot of chaos uh, somewhere in the ghettos and the police came, they were using power and the, the ghetto people also uh, fought back. They had to call this man Bobby Wine. They called him come and help us and tell your people to calm down. He came, he just talked to them and they Yes, but what I'm there trying is to always point another out, way, a better are, way. Yes, but uh, this, are, this should be to the leaders. Mm. This what we are saying now is to the leaders because the common soldier man, the common navy officer, the common traffic officer mm. is going to do what he has been told to do. If they call me as a policeman to come and arrest you mm. with your address and your identity, mm. if I have it, mm. you don't. I don't have too much questions to answer from you. I'm coming to arrest you. This is the order. So if you try to resist my arrest, mm. I will let you know that I have things to suppress you. This is it. <laughs> so they are following orders. Order. To kill people. Order is to order. Harass people. <laughs> when I see people being harassed, it's uh... It's by order. <laughs> so, so what we are trying to say is that wherever you are, if you mm. think that some people are holding on to the power, mm. try to get it back, get it back in any way possible. Yes, because sacrifice something. Them, what is very even funny, even if it means for you to pay for the it. The people in power themselves, they came by force. They what took do you power mean? by force. The, the first time President Museven came to Uganda, mm -hmm. he, he fought for the power. Yeah, you cannot get power like that. It's normal even in the church, in the mosque. Before you get power, you must fight to get this power. So, because they are holding on to so much power, because some power belongs to us, the normal people. Some powers belongs to us. Some powers in this, in every country belongs to the people. So, but if only one person is holding on to it, the remaining 150 million people, if they are complaining, so, so shall it be. Because they can get some power from the original source, like the Christians, like we Christians. The power belongs to God, so we are tapping from it. Mm. So if you leave God to have all the power and you don't go and collect by using prayers, then you won't get any power. <laughs> are you trying to say there is another way to get this power back from these people? If, even though you have to pay for it, mm. you must go and there is a way. For example, Christians. How do they get power from God through prayers? Mm. In the streets, look for the way you can do it in your own environment. Mm. Because demonstration in America is not the same like that in Africa or Europe. Yeah. Mm. When they demonstrate in Europe, it's with music. It's like people are going to club, people are dancing, they yeah. are music, mm -hmm. okay. drinking. And the, the police, is, the police is just around them, around them yeah. guiding them. Yeah. But in yeah. Africa, it's different. So do it the way it favors you in your environment. Okay. Yeah. Tell Africans. Tell Africans. We are live. We are live. We are live. Well, yeah, the power belongs to the people. The power belongs people to the people. To but until you have, have this demand. power, yes. if you don't demand this people power. People have to know how to demand for their yeah. power. Based on logistics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Based on logistics. So, as we are it's Tell Africans, and yeah. uh, we've just talked about the president of Uganda. That has been holding on the power and uh, maybe somehow manipulating the constitution, yes. making That's changes, yeah. Yeah. trying to mm -hmm. let people know that they want to be there forever. Mm -hmm. Please, the thing is that the power belongs to everybody. Yes, when you have the power, out. give some to the people mm, and to the citizens. Go out, demand for what belongs to Use you. Use prayers to get your powers back. That's God, not from the person. from that man. Use your, that method that you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's still Africa. It's still Africa. It's uh, from Mr. Host for Uganda TV, Switzerland. Thank you for watching and catch you next time. Yeah, still Africa. Bye bye. bye, -bye.